bet in play throughout the Betfred World Snooker Championship. Uh, John just played uh, a lot better than me and uh, probably a fair score on really, 10-5. You know, it was hard to maintain. He just, from the very start really, some of the balls he potted, I haven't seen him that sharp for probably, I don't know, four or five years really. He's, uh, I thought when the draw came out, it weren't a bad one because I've got a good record against him recently and uh, no, nah, it's going to take a good man to beat him on that form. You know, he uh, he scored really well. And um, yeah, he just didn't let up really. He, he played really good stuff. But coming into the obviously the second session of the match, I mean, you obviously felt you had to get a good start. Yeah, um, but then I've not really done nothing wrong, and I've lost the first two frames. Or I one or two like, well, not even one or two really. I mean, I played a sort of semi-loose safety shot and a semi-loose break, and I'm, I've lost two straight away. So. Yeah, I mean, he put part a lot of pressure on me, and uh, you know, he was too good for me today. So and yesterday, when he plays like that, and obviously shows you the great champion that he is, does that soften the blow of defeat just a little bit? Or? Yeah, yeah, it, is, it does really, because you know, um, I think I've done well to get five frames off him. To tell the truth, um, I didn't, I didn't score well, um, but you know, he didn't miss many balls at all, and um, you know, when you play someone. Like, you know, when you play somebody like he against somebody like you know he was playing, there ain't really much you can do about it. To tell the truth, I, I don't think there there would have been many players that would have uh, kept him under control. To tell the truth, obviously you had to come through qualifying, three tough matches, then to come here. I mean, how do you sort of reflect on all that now, having to qualify and come through? Um, well, I don't know. I was lucky to get through and qualify in the way I played. You know, I'm glad the season's finished. It's been a long season, especially the last couple of months. They poured everything in, and I've been like everywhere. So it'd be nice to have a couple of weeks off. Um, but yeah, you know, a fairly good season. But once again, I come up short in a couple of tournaments. Um, could have been different in China. You know, I lost to Salby, beat Salby, probably win a tournament. Um, just near misses again, you know, and uh, running out of time. <laughs> running out of time, really? Well. 39 now, I'm not getting no younger, am I? Um, but yeah, my game's still good. Just uh, like I said, I suppose when you get to that, those later stages, you just need like one or two little sort of lucky breaks. And I probably haven't helped myself, but I haven't really had them. So maybe next year, and um, like I said, a month off now or whatever, and uh, refresh, maybe go away for a week and, uh, and try again next year, yeah?